What's up guys, Josh here, and in today's video we're taking a look at the Gigabyte RTX 3080 Ti Vision OC. Now the RTX 3080 Ti is kind of the cream of the crop when it comes to gaming GPUs, with a 3090 more so being targeted at creators, but this card comes with a heavy price premium, MSRP on the 3080 Ti FE card, $1,200 MSRP on this Gigabyte card, $1,529, so it's quite expensive, pretty much the MSRP of a 3090 FE for this 3080 Ti. So yes, for $1,529, I could have gotten a lot of bang for the buck elsewhere, whether that be a 3070 or a 3080, or even an entire pre-built for the cost of this 3080 Ti. So definitely stay tuned for my next video where I'll take a look at exactly what pre-built I could have bought instead of this 3080 Ti. A $1,500 budget is not a bad pre-built, so definitely stay tuned for that. But as I mentioned in my last video, I was able to sell off a bunch of different components, one being the motherboard that came with the new egg shuffle uh, that I won this RTX 3080 Ti in. Uh, the 1660 Super that's currently in my gaming PC, as well as a 7700 uh, that I was going to pair with that 1660 Super in a small form factor build. Uh, so at the end of the day, after selling all those components, this thing ended up costing me around $1,000. And for the Vision OC card, that is a price I was worth spending. This card looks amazing, and you'll see that when we get into the unboxing, and it should look fantastic in my white NZXT H710 case to bring a nice little pop of design to that build. Uh, and of course, we will see this thing installed. So I'm gonna run through a quick unboxing, go through some of the design details of the Vision OC. Of course, detail out some of the specs for this card, and then we'll get it installed and we will get some gaming benchmarks as well as some creator benchmarks, being that this Vision OC card is really targeted at creators. So let's jump in to the unboxing. So let's jump in to this unboxing of our GeForce RTX 3080 Ti. And, you know, the way Gigabyte does their packaging, there's really no seals on any of the boxes until you actually get to the anti-static packaging inside of the box. But overall, a pretty nice uh, an easy unboxing from that perspective. Uh, really well packed, everything like that. No issues there. So you get a little, you know, guide on how to install the graphics card uh, with this quick start guide and, you know, pretty self-explanatory, put it in the PCIe slot, but here we go. Here we have it, the Vision OC, and even inside of the anti-static bag, this card looks fantastic. The white Windforce fans and, you know, the stainless or like the brushed stainless slash aluminum finish on the front and the back of the card, some of the white accents. The little purple detail with the Gigabyte logo. Only the Gigabyte logo can be addressed with RGB, but it looks fantastic. Uh, and once we get this thing out of the bag, you'll get to see it even further, just how good this card looks. So just pulling her out, there we go. So you have, you know, this awesome backplate design, perforations, uh, the cut through for the heat sink, it just looks great. And then you have the brushed finish on the front. And this card out of the factory comes clocked in at 1710 megahertz versus 1665, which is how it would leave uh, the reference card. Uh, so you get a little bit of a boost in performance there. And you have the triple fan design, a super beefy heat sink. Although it's only two slots, it seems like it could be a three, three slot card just based on how thick this GPU is. Let's get our 1660 Super uninstalled out of our NZXT H710. Super simple, super easy, of course. And now it is time to install the 3080 Ti. So just pulling out all of the protective uh, stuff uh, inside of the ports. And super simple install. Just throw it into that PCIe slot. And we're going to have two 8-pin power connectors for this guy. And the 3080 Ti can draw up to 350 watts. And we have a 750 watt power supply already, which is what NVIDIA recommends. So we're all good there. We'll get our sleeve cables in and this thing looks great. And it's starting up perfect. No issues whatsoever. 
Now let's hop into some games and get some benchmarks. So looking at Cyberpunk 2077, on my 1660 Super averaging 47 FPS, pretty much on all low settings. And on high with the 3080 Ti, 112 FPS. And jumping over to COD Warzone, you can see on the 1660 Super, 76 FPS average. And with the 3080 Ti, 132 FPS. So quite a jump in performance in both of these games. And this is what is really going to allow me to take full advantage of my 1440p 144Hz setup with my Dell S2719 DGF. And now jumping over to more of a benchmark. So we got Time Spy uh, through 3D Mark. And this will just give us an overall idea of how good this graphics card actually is. And as you can see, 36 FPS with the 1660 Super and over 110 on our 3080 Ti. And this is really just, you know, pure muscle on the 3080 Ti's perspective. The extra VRAM, all of that, allows it to really excel in a benchmark like this. And as you can see, 6,000 for the 1660 Super and 17,500 for the 3080 Ti. And now we jump over to Premiere Pro. So this is really giving us an idea of the creator workflow with a 3080 Ti. And as you can see, almost six minutes with the 1660 Super and just over three and a half with a 3080 Ti. That is really where this thing will excel and benefit you in your workflow. I mean, th almost two and a half minutes of save time rendering a video is, you know, amazing especially on longer videos and now just taking a look at the overall stats 138 percent jump in cyberpunk 74 percent jump in warzone almost 200 percent in time spy and a 40 percent time reduction in premiere pro this upgrade is fantastic and let's just do a quick review before we end the video so some really, really impressive numbers there with the upgrade from our 1660 Super to our 3080 Ti as expected. It is a crazy, crazy performance jump going from a 16 series card up to pretty much any of the 3000 series, but especially with the GPU at the caliber of a 3080 Ti. And I am super impressed with the Vision OC version of the card. I mean, you have... A awesome features the overclock out of the factory you have the the silent fan profile when the card really not running um this card though is extremely power hungry just sitting on the desktop it's pulling 100 watts in game it's pulling 300 350 watts of power so it is quite a power hungry card but again as you would expect with something that's for the most part have, has the power of a 3090 just with half the vram and I definitely could have gotten similar performance from a 3080, changed the settings around and probably could have got the same performance from a 3070 as well. But the way things have fallen, this was the card that kind of just fell into my hands at this time. And I am not really disappointed in making the purchase, but let me know what you guys think. Was going with the 3080 Ti a good idea, a bad idea? What are your thoughts? Leave those down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the overview of the Vision OC, definitely give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, get subscribed to the channel and turn on post notifications so you can stay up to date with all my latest videos.